Who are you? What are you good at? What do you like to do? What is your community? Who and what are the people and places important to you? These are the questions we explore with the personal mapping activity. This activity is centered around a visual image or metaphor, like a person or a medicine wheel, whatever makes sense and is relevant for the people participating. Then participants add words or other pictures that represent their experience. This is what makes up a map. The map offers an opening for people to share stories about themselves and their communities in a creative way. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a figure or anything that you guys think it will represent you on paper. And inside we're gonna write all of our assets, all of the things that uh, you're really good at. We're gonna write the people that are important to you in your life and the places that you visit a lot, the places that mean something to you in, in the city. Yeah. What we're gonna do now is each one of us is gonna explain their map. The back uh, people here is like shadow, they will be like my relatives that even though they're far away, like they're still with me in one way. Here are like the people well, that I love or I care. Stuff like that. I really like the human body. I think it's so interesting. And so anything to do with moving your body around, I really enjoy. And I still hang out with all my old friends, and I think friendship's really important. The personal asset mapping activity never unfolds the same way twice. That's part of the beauty and challenge of it. Although there is no one way of doing things, we do have some basic tips to offer. Assure participants there is no right or wrong way to make the maps. Don't be too serious. The idea is to create a relaxed and fun atmosphere so that people feel supported to share. I've seen